Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? To all my Yoshis out there, what's up? Hey, if you're trying to record gameplay using the Elgato HD60 or the HD60 Pro, and you're trying to use it with the Retron 5, and you're having problems since the new patch, I'm going to show you what you need to do. Okay? So first off, all right. If you've updated the patch to the 3.0. This is what you're going to have to do if you want to record retro gameplay. I found this out last night, so I'm going to let you guys know exactly what to do. So come with me, and let me show you how to do it. Alright, so here we go. Here's our Game Capture HD for our HD60. So we're going to open it up. This is the new one. This is the patch. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the Retron. If y'all guys can hear that. Okay, let's go ahead and put a game in. Alright, so there you see we have a uh, Kaiju, Godzilla Kaiju battle. I know you guys can probably see me in here. But as you notice, there's no sound coming out. All we can hear is this click, 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 click from the speakers, right? So there you go, no sound. But I'm going to switch the channel to the full play of Kaiju Battle. And there we go. We got sound. And then I'm going to switch it back to your preview menu. And all you have is clicking. So if I was to record this right now, it would have no audio at all. There would be no audio for this. How do you fix that? I know a lot of you are saying that. But one quick thing right here I'm going to show you. Okay, we're going to check for updates. And it says right there, no updates, we're up to date. We're at Game Capture HD 3.0.111. Okay. So to be able to do this, to record your retro plays using the HD Elgato Capture Pro, you're going to need to go to Elgato's website. Right here, you're going to go to Downloads. Okay, we're going to go down here. See, I have the 60 Pro, so I'm going to click that one. And then here we go. Now, I tried it on both the 64-bit and the 32-bit, and I've had the same problem. So what you need to do is go ahead and download this one, so you have the update date one, and then come back to the website, and then go to older. All right, you're going to keep that version you have already, and then we're going to go down here. We're going to download 2.20.9. Okay, we're going to download this one. This is going to be our most up-to-date one before the 3.0. Okay, so you're going to download that one. And what's going to happen is, you're going to have two. You're going to have your 64-bit for your regular games, so like your Xbox One. And then you're going to have this one here, off to the side. You'll have two of these on your screen. And then what do you know? With this one, which is our older one. As you can see right here, it says right there, 2.20.9. So that's our older one. And we have full sound. So now you can record your retro gameplays with full sound. I'm going to do a little bit through this uh, preview menu just so you can see. You can see we're still up here. <clears throat> there we go. Alright, so we're going to do a, a normal. I found this game is, is pretty tough. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a full playthrough and review on it. The whole Godzilla series. But just to give you an idea. So we're going to go ahead and do this one. 
And the thing is, you can have this open and the other one open at the same time. I don't know why you'd want to, but you can do it. Let's pick our enemy. There we go. But as you can hear, the sound is great. We can switch it to our our playthrough channel. Which is live. Let's see, we still got sound. We'll switch back to our PC channel. Hopefully, we don't die in the process. There we go. Oh, that's... get up, get up. There we go. We did a super move. We blocked a little bit of it. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> I'm still learning. The moveset's pretty tough, but you'll see that. Anyways, guys, that's how you do it. So basically, you have to run two versions of the game record software. One for modern games, which is the updated one, and then the older one for your retro games. For some reason, the, the new update it's not optimized for Retron 5 and the retro games. I don't know why. Maybe they'll do a patch to it sometime soon. But until then, this is how you're going to record your retro gameplays with the Retron 5 and the HD Pro or the Pro HD 60 from Elgato. Thank you guys for watching. And for more retro stuff, check out my other channel, Famicom Raider. If you're on Famicom Raider, you can check out my modern channel, Hacker Raid Channel which will have modern games and reviews and gameplays and let's plays and then the Famicom Raider channel you're on or you need to go check out it's going to be all retro stuff live plays let's plays reviews all kinds of good information there guys so thank you for watching and I'll see you again in the next video